money becomes almost meaningless when you have too much of it, and billionaires always seem to find the weirdest and wackiest ways to empty their pockets. Whether they're buying hand-cut ice cubes or a lock of a celebrity's hair, their purchases will definitely shock you. Make sure to stick around until the end to hear about the billionaire who once spent millions of dollars on a dead shark. Before we surprise you with some of these unique items, make sure to like this video, subscribe to The Richest, and join our notification squad. Now let's get into expensive and useless things billionaires spend their money on. The $24,000 Haircut most of us are happy to spend a bit of money on a haircut. We'd rather spend a few extra dollars to get a good trim instead of cutting costs and having to wear a hat until our hair grows back in. But one billionaire won't accept anything except the very best when it comes to his hair. And he's not afraid to spend a ridiculously huge chunk of money on it. Haji Hassan al Bokia, the Sultan of Brunei, once dropped more than $24,000 on his haircut. The Sultan regularly flies his barber halfway across the world from London to to cut his hair. The barber usually charges $40 for a haircut, but he gets an all-expenses-paid trip whenever he cuts the Sultan's hair. The Sultan was even once so worried about catching swine flu back in 2009 that he paid for his barber to be flown in a private luxury airplane cabin at a cost of $18,000. The Sultan, whose fortune is estimated at $20 billion, reportedly pays his barber with a thick envelope full of cash whenever he gets a trim every few weeks the $300 million car collection. It's not only hair that the Sultan loves to spend cash on. Although he doesn't seem to do much driving himself, he happily buys new car after new car. He actually owns the world's largest fleet of private Rolls-Royce cars. He's believed to have a collection of around 500 Rolls-Royce vehicles. And during the 1990s, his family accounted for almost half of all Rolls-Royce purchases. But there's one car in particular that really stands out in his collection, his custom wedding limousine. With a price tag of around $15 million dollars, it's one of the more expensive cars in his $300 billion collection. It's huge, luxurious, and most importantly, coated in 24 karat gold. This might seem like a bit of an over-the-top purchase, especially if you're used to chauffeurs driving you around everywhere. But when you've got more money than you know what to do with, everything seems like a good deal. We just don't like to think about how much his insurance must cost. The Name in Sand if you could buy anything in the world, what would it be? You might pick expensive jewelry, clothes, or houses, but one billionaire decided to branch out a little. Hamad bin Hamdan Al Nayyan, a super rich Arab sheikh, decided to spend some of his dollars on something unusual. He had his name written in sand. But while most people's sand writing washes away as soon as the tide comes in, Hamad wanted to ensure that his name would be etched into the grains forever. First of all, he purchased Al Futezi Island in Abu Dhabi. Next, Next, he requested workers to dig so deep that the letters would form waterways and exist forevermore. The word Hamad measures 1,000 meters high and is a staggering two miles long from the H to the D on the island. Hamad dreamed up the idea and had his workmen toil for weeks to craft the enormous piece of sand graffiti. It's not known how much it cost to make, but we can guess that it was definitely a pretty penny. The 27-Story Apartment what would your dream home look like? For one billionaire, his dream home is a 27-story skyscraper that was built exclusively for his family of six in Mumbai. In case you're bad at math, that's 4.5 skyscraper floors per family member. Mukesh Ambani, the chairman of Reliance Industries, spent a cool $1 billion on this huge building, and he doesn't even live there full-time. This impressive house has its own 50-seat movie theater, parking for 160 cars, and requires a staff of 600 to keep it going. With 27 floors, it could certainly take a lot of walking to reach the top, but luckily Mukesh installed nine elevators in the lobby, so you'll never have to wait too long for a ride up to the highest point. Also included in this incredible apartment is six floors of parking, that's one per family member, outdoor gardens, a swimming pool with a gym and spa, and even a maintenance floor. You can't say that Mukesh forgot anything when he was dreaming up his ideal home the $60,000 phone bill. 
Jocelyn Wildenstein is a billionaire socialite originally born in Switzerland who's famous for her extravagant lifestyle. At one point, she was worth more than $2.5 billion, but she apparently wasn't very good with her money because she eventually filed for bankruptcy. But when you hear exactly how Jocelyn spent her money, you probably won't be too surprised to hear that she managed to give it all away so quickly. Jocelyn liked to spend a lot of time on the phone arranging plastic surgery appointments and chatting to her friends, but because many of them did didn't seem to live in the same area, she ended up with a hefty phone bill. While some of us might freak out if our monthly bill comes in a few dollars more than it was supposed to, Jocelyn took her long conversations a little too far. Her annual phone bill at the peak of her fortunes came in at around $60,000. We all appreciate a good catch-up with a friend every now and again, but were her conversations really worth $60,000? The Lock of Hair it's easy to show your dedication to a certain band or artist by going to their concerts and buying their merchandise. But if you really, truly want to show your appreciation for someone, why not go one step further and buy a lock of their hair? One true fan of Elvis spent a record $115,000 for a lock of the king of rock and roll's hair. The hair had been supposedly saved by Elvis's barber, Homer Gill Gilliland, who traveled with him for over 20 years. It was Gill who dyed Elvis's blonde hair black and gave it its character characteristic quaff. Up until Presley's death in 1977, Gil had saved all of the cut ends of his hair in a plastic bread bag. And even that gross fact wasn't enough to stop one billionaire from purchasing the hair. The locks were sold on an internet auction site and were battled for in a ferocious online bidding war. No one was actually sure what the new owner would do with the hair, except perhaps treasure it or use the DNA to recreate the star. The $15.3 million iPhone iPhones are pretty easy to break, so most of us invest in a hardy case to prevent damage when we're out and about. But if you have all of the money in the world, who cares if you need to replace your screen every so often? In fact, who cares what happens to the phone when you can simply just buy a new one? One man who knows exactly what the billionaires of the world are looking for when it comes to a phone is Stuart Hughes, a world-renowned creator of some of the world's most expensive and luxurious items. He's the man who designed the Black Diamond iPhone, which came with a price tag of $15.3 million dollars. This phone is basically an iPhone 5 covered in gold, gems, and a super expensive black diamond. It was the most expensive iPhone in the world in 2016, according to luxury website alux.com. The body of the iPhone 5 is solid gold, and the edges of the iPhone have 600 white diamonds. The Apple logo on the back of the phone also includes 53 diamonds. The Hand Cut Ice Cubes what makes a drink perfect? Maybe the fact that it's nice and cool or tastes great? What about ensuring that the ice cubes are perfectly symmetrical? Well, if you're one of the world's richest billionaires, this might just be up your alley. One company in California is offering hand-cut cubes with minimum dilution and maximum cooling for the ultimate party drink. But of course, these blocks of ice come at a cost, and it's not a small price to pay. Each ice cube is individually shaped from large blocks of ice, but a bag of 50 will set you back $325.50. Apparently, these ice cubes are healthier and are made up of fewer impurities and carcinogens than typical ice cubes. But when you take into consideration the fact that ice cubes are literally nothing but water, it's hard to believe that they're worth the money. But if you've got money to spend, why not go all out on your ice? The Dead Shark Exotic fish might be a popular choice for the richest people in the world, but one hedge fund manager took his fascination with the underwater world one step further by purchasing a shark, and not even a breathing one. Steve Cohen, who has a net worth of nearly $12 billion, bought the body of a dead 14-foot tiger shark. And Steven didn't buy the shark as a pet, but instead as a work of art. He's a renowned art collector and has an impressive variety of works with an estimated value of more than a billion dollars. 2006, Cohen purchased Damien Hirst's The Physical Impossibility of Death in the Mind of Someone Living from Charles Saatchi for a reported $8 million. The iconic tiger shark preserved in formaldehyde in a glass casing is one of the best-known pieces in the hedge fund manager's collection. The Artist's Journal 
How much money would you pay to read someone's diary? We're not talking about a friend or family member here, but the diary of arguably the world's greatest Renaissance artist. Chances are you wouldn't be able to cough up the cash for it because the value of Leonardo da Vinci's personal journal sits at a staggering $30.8 million. But while that sum might be enough to make you stop and take a large breath, it was little more than a drop in the ocean for Bill Gates, who paid that money to read Leonardo's hopes and dreams. The manuscript, which is actually called Codex Lester, provides an insight into the Leonardo's thoughts on the relationship between the sun, moon, and earth, and his ideas relating to water. Gates usually allows this rare book to be put on display once a year, but you have to go through airport-style security to see it. This item isn't entirely useless, but it is way too expensive for our liking. That's all for expensive, useless things billionaires spend their money on. Would you buy any of these things if you had the money? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more awesome videos daily.